What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 9.35 p.m., March 29, 2018. We got a brand-new trading video coming to you. But first, if you are new to us, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you're on YouTube uh, and on Steemit and DTube. Uh, we would love for you guys to subscribe to us there, too. Now, links are down below. And if you do feel uh, that this video is worthwhile and other videos that before we, we have done, um, please do upvote uh, and or re-steam. So, um, also, I want to thank everybody this morning that participated in our, uh, I'll call it the thumbs up program. <laughs> in other words, liking the video. Um, thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it so much. Let's try doing it on this one as well. So take a second, guys. Go down there. You see where that little thumbs up button is? Just click it. Doesn't cost you a cent. Doesn't cost you any money. And I'm watching you. I'm looking right over your shoulder. Go ahead and click it. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> so still feel like uh, CRAP. I don't want to curse on here because um, just not right to do, right? Anyway, so yeah, markets are markets are falling down, but don't despair. There'll be a time for the bulls to regain um, regain their strength. Don't despair, okay? Um, so let's get let's get into it. We're gonna get a little bit more detailed uh, than before, but in, but then I don't also don't want to uh, put everybody to sleep. So um, as we've been calling this for quite some time, um, a WXY or a WXYXZ uh, type of formation. In other words, everything that's coming down here, and that um, that does look like that's what's. Oh my God! I totally forgot to mention. Okay, what we're going to do, and this is really stupid for, for me to do, really dumb, right? But um, I'm going to do something what we used to do, <laughs> do on, the trading, uh, on the trading desk with you guys. And um, we're calling it, 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 we used to call it a big balls buy. In other words, a triple B. And, uh, and yeah, so... What does that mean? It means exactly what it sounds. It's almost like catching a falling knife. And it's not necessarily calling the bottom, but it's uh, where are you willing to go ahead and put your money down in order to buy? And yes, I will be putting my money down on this. So, um, uh, you know, how much I will, that's totally my, my business. But yes, they will, I will have money there. Um, and what I'll probably do, I'll, if if it's at a time when I'm making a video, then I'll then I'll announce it on the video. And if not, it'll most likely be um, it'll most likely be on our Facebook page. So um, if you're not on the Facebook page, definitely definitely um, you know sign up there. But what I'm going to do on a four hour basis, um, and there's a very good chance I'm going to get this wrong because normally in these types of uh, these types of down markets right now. Trying to buy is like super difficult, and uh, that's why a lot of times you see a lot of my analysis is skewed to the skewed to the uh, shorting side. Um, but uh, especially in the U.S., a lot of people can't short, so what uh, you know most people can buy. So this is my my buy, guys. Okay, this is not yours. Okay, I don't want people screaming and yelling at me. Oh my God, whatever. I went ahead and I mortgaged a freaking house and I took the kids college money and I put it on this because you said so no I'm just gonna I'm just gonna laugh at you so um, no I'm not even telling you how much to put on up there I don't want you to put any money up there okay because I'm doing this this is me <laughs> all right <laughs> so this is all for educational purposes enter entertainment purposes whatever what, what have you but when I come out with that I'm it's basically me saying I'm not calling a bottom but I'm calling a place where I feel that the risk is sufficiently low enough to go ahead and make a purchase. And that's about it. So I'm trying to do that to instill some confidence in you guys that, yes, the market will go down, but it will also go up, go up again. Um, and, uh, yeah, also it's a great way to teach. That's really about it. So, um, all right, so what the hell was I talking about here? Yeah, I was talking about this uh, WXY or WXYZ. So um, you know, right now we're really thinking it's a WX, it's a WXY, um, and yes, it could be also WX, uh, XYZ, But um, uh, I'm not, um, I'm not counting that. I'm not, not not WXYZ. I always, I always shorten it that way. WXYXZ. 
Okay, um, but I'm I'm not going to go over that just yet because I think this is really the the, the predominant one, the uh, WXY. So basically, WXY goes like this: the W portion of this, and I've said this all in videos and videos and videos ago. We, we were talking about this being a WXY or a WXYXZ uh, formation for 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 quite some time. I'm talking like long time. So. Um, so, uh, yeah, so this would be five ways down, and then we have our ABC, and this would be five ways down, right? And that makes the W, okay? This is the a, called, what's called, as far as Elliott Wave Theory is called, it's called a double zigzag, okay? And then you have an, an A, B, and a C, right? And then you have another double zigzag coming down, okay? And what I would say is that this is the one, two, three, four, and five. Yes, it could be an extended fifth. But whatever, this is not a beauty contest, right? This is just uh, trying to get it right. Contest. <laughs> um, so what does that mean? What does that mean? So this is a symmetric formation. In other words, what happens here is also supposed to happen here. Okay? So that would mean if we had five waves down, three waves up, five waves down, that we'd also need to have five waves down, three waves up, and then five waves down. It's another reason why I didn't get into too much um, detail about this because I don't want to spook the hell out of everybody and I don't also don't want to spook the markets. Yeah, I know. I don't really have that many people that follow me, blah, 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 blah. Maybe 4,800 right now, maybe. Maybe, if I'm lucky. Um, and uh, maybe there's like 2,000 people tops uh, seeing my videos. Even still, you know, I don't I don't want people to get super, super... Um, you know, spooked and and basically just and basically just run out of the market type of thing. So, um, but at the same time, that's also why my analysis was always skewed to the to the downside. Okay, it was always always skewed to um, uh, to, to the shorting side, and for other reasons too, because I just like to short. I just I don't know. I get like an endorphin high off of it. But anyway. Um, uh, it's kind of like sky jumping, as, as, as skydiving. So, um, yeah. So that's you know this is kind of part of the analysis behind what you know the way in which I skew things as I as I speak to you guys. Also, I don't need to make these videos like freaking nine hundred minute minutes long. So, yes, that is what we're looking for. The ABC here is clearly smaller than the ABC here. Um, you know, A B. Uh, see this that that also could be one way to count it. Okay, another way to count it could be that there's an A, B, and a C right here. Okay, and there's two ways then to count the wave that's coming down. Right, there's two ways to count the wave that's coming down. I've been counting it as this is wave one, two, wave a three, four, and a five. Right, but you can also count it one, two, three, four, five. Okay, two different ways. Two different ways. This right here looks to me like five ways up, right? So then we would need thri three waves down and then five ways up in order to make an ABC, right? A five three five. So then we would need five ways coming down, and this would be the top of that five waves coming down. But this again, I just want to make mention again. There's two ways to go about it. Also, the Fibonacci extension tends to be, I don't know, a little bit more accurate here, right? If I measure that as being the top, okay? And we have, you know, 1.618 right here, and um, it just seems to make a lot more sense. And we have the bottom right here is 2.618, all right? So let me, uh, let me make this even a little bit more accurate. Yeah, it's like this, okay? Sorry about that. No, 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 no. What am I doing? It's like this. Yeah, it's like this. Okay, so, um, yeah. I mean, this this makes a lot more sense. Two point six one eight for the fifth wave to end at makes a lot of sense. Okay. Let's also go go to um. So yes, just to sum sum up real quick. Either this could be the top of the five ways down, or this could be the top of the five ways down. Okay. Either way, I think we've exhausted five waves, five small waves. Okay, similar to the way in which we've had, you know, five waves here, right? Of similar order, right, guys? So, 
Um, I have a feeling this video is going to be long already. My apologies. So, um, yes. So, next thing I want to go, go over is, uh, you know, so I hope you guys get, gathered at least this much uh, from from my videos of looking at of looking at um, you know kind of swing lows and stuff like that. So when this market came down, right? When this market came down, um, clearly it's going to stop at the previous low, right? And that's exactly what it did, right? That's clearly a target. If you were setting this up as a short, you can set this up as a target right here. I never target at the very bottom. I always go a little bit higher, okay? Because you never know that it's actually going to hit that. I'd rather leave a little money on the table and take my and take my profit and left all the way to the bank. So now we sit on top of this red line, this this infamous red line that we've been eyeballing for quite some time, and in very quick succession, uh, we pretty much have 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 met up to it, okay? And we've fallen down below it. We've fallen down below it pretty nice, you know. Uh, but if you zoom out, right, it's not actually all that bad, right? The next stopping point would be somewhere around here, right? This bottom right here, about 5,957. Clearly, that makes sense, right? Right down here. Call it 6,000 for uh, argumentative sakes. So uh, that's that. So another thing I want to show you guys behind, uh, behind a little bit more behind the scenes, and um, reason why I don't put this stuff up because it's for like a whole other type of analysis. And if I just put it up, it's gonna appear as if it's a lot more simple than it actually is. But it's another thing that uh, underpins a lot of my analysis and why, when I draw lines, am I so confident about it? So, um, and that is our famous friend, W.D. Gann, okay? I'm a big fran fan of, uh, I'm a big fan of Gann, all right? So, Gann is actually really complicated. It's not as simple as it looks. Uh, so, I'm going to say that right off the bat. So, so, so users, beware, okay? Um, but... Okay, so when I was drawing a channel here, okay, it was just I was just drawing the top line of this GAN of this GAN line right here, okay. When we had this big shoot up here, okay. Oh, so one of the things I want to do mention about GAN right off the bat is that you have to wait, okay. You can't do it immediately. You have to wait. You have to wait some time for it to really show to for for you really to understand where the one to one line should really sit. Okay, and it, there's a lot more analysis behind that. It's not it's it's not as simple as that. But anyway, um, I mean, so what uh, what is this is one of the things like I said is underpinning my analysis. So look look at this look how this thing fell fell off right from this high right here. Okay, stopped very uh, you know very quickly. You know, at uh, at the one to one line, right? And then we kind of went back up to the one to one to one line, and it came back down to the two to one line. Okay, and then it rocketed it off from there, right? And then even here, right? Came down, came down to the three to one line, right here. Came down to the four to one line. Okay, came down to the eight to one line. Right problem is there's no more lines okay and so now you have to start looking things from a bearish perspective okay you, know, you don't look from the swing lows you look for this from the swing highs looking down all right and you know the major reason why i don't have this up here is because people are like bugging out with the, num with the number of lines that i have here to begin with but again remember i always say painting a story i mean literally this looks like we're painting a story right here it's all you know it's like technicolor so, um, uh, yeah, so now let's go ahead and just, let's just delete this real quick, okay? Because I want to look at things from the top. And I'm just drawing this really quickly, so it may not be 100% exact. Okay, so what I want you to see is, remember when I had drawn this, uh, 
this this descending wedge and why was I so confident about it why did I say there was a descending wedge there uh, on my video I said there was a descending wedge there and then I think I drew it the next day because this one-to-one -one line is literally sitting on top of the descending wedge this dot here and this dot here are actually yeah maybe I can move this over see peekaboo okay so um this one-to-one -one line sits directly right on here. So this is what I will be looking at, or part of what I'll be looking at, um, uh, if we continue to sell off. All right. Um, and one of the things I want to want to want to want to mention is is this. I mean, look at this, right? The market rallied up, it then came back down again. It rallied back up, hit the two-to-one line, and fell right off of it. All right. I mean, it doesn't do this stuff for coincidence, uh, because you know, uh, due to coincidence. Okay, so I'll be looking at this, you know, as we uh, as we continue to trade on, and as we become more bullish, uh, yes, we will have to be taking down these lines. Okay, in other words, breaking through these lines. So, guys, so I wanted to show you guys this. Um, I haven't shown it to you guys before, but I, I, I'm 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 wanting to pull back. Some of the uh, the layers of the onion. I don't know what you want to call it, and show you guys some more, some more, and more of this. Um, can't wait to te teach this stuff to my children, but they're way too young. I and mean, actually, by the time they get old enough to understand, they're probably gonna hate me anyway. But <laughs> they're probably gonna want to, they're probably gonna want to play with their friends and not stare at charts. Um, anyway, so uh, but I think charts are so cool. Anyway, so um, so yeah, so this is where we sit right now. So you know. It's really up to you what you want to do. Um, I wouldn't take a sh if it, this is me. I wouldn't take a short trade just yet because of the fact that I didn't. You know, yes, we have this line coming across here, but I don't think we're. I don't think we are going to continue to uh, um, precipitate a large, a large, um, uh, you know, uh, basically sell off from this point. Why? Because. Elliott wave theory tells us it's probably not going to happen. Why? Because we can count five waves coming down to here and probably a fifth, then this is the extended fifth wave. Okay? So that's the reason why. So it's telling me that we're going to get some sort of correction. Um, yes, could it sell off a little bit more? You know, continue? Yeah, absolutely. But I'd imagine there's going to be some sort of correction, first of all. Second of all, I want to see volume coming in, come in here. Okay? Uh, you know, uh, as 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 a Livermore trader, you know, you want to see uh, you want to see some some volume coming in, and look at this volume coming in. Okay, big buy candles, uh, oh, buy volume coming in, not necessarily uh, big uh, uh, bullish candles, but you know that's that's pretty good. I mean, it's it's you know maybe only half of what happens right here, right? But remember, there was totally different market psychology back here than what we have right here. It's like two completely different, distinct markets. Okay, I would say that the market, that the market, excuse me, here was much more like the market up here than it is the market here. Does that make sense? This market here at this point as far as psychology and sentiment and and uh just everything that surrounds it um uh is uh was much more like it was here than it is here okay lot a lot less um you know newbies in the market a lot less and nothing against newbies but a lot less um i would call green money in other words uh, you know uh, people that don't have a lot of trading experience um uh, you know, it's just it was it's just a different market. Um, also, there's a lot less new capital flowing into this, a lot less new capital coming uh, flowing into this, and we see that by just overall lower volumes, uh, 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 you know, uh, completely. So, um, my God, this this video has got to be so long. Anyway, uh, my apologies. So let's go ahead and start updating some stuff, some resistance lines and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I cannot wait for a triple B trade. And I'm going to say it's high probability that it's not going to work out because I'm really going to want to pull the trigger quick. <laughs>
All right, so one hour resistance, 7,487. But I don't care. I don't need to prove myself to anybody. Um, 7,487, that's a one hour resistance level. Now, this one hour resistance level... Um, could be lower actually uh, could definitely be lower because of the fact that um, the candle is still open well, it's got about four minutes left over so I may wait till that end and then I'll just update it so anyway four hour resistance level is 7,618 okay 7,618 Seven thousand six hundred and eighteen. Okay, and then so then the daily the daily. Um, let me just move this over. Um, the daily resistance level we're still keeping it at eight thousand nine hundred and seven. Okay. Um, oh, hold up a sec. The four hour resistance line, like I said, seven thousand six six hundred and eighteen. Uh, the candle is still open, but but uh, it could possibly go down to seven thousand four hundred and two. But let me let me. Uh, let me write that right here because otherwise I'm going to get people to say, oh, you never said that, blah, 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 blah. So, um, 7,402. Okay, so, um, yeah, maybe I'll just pause this right here and then and then uh, I'll just recalculate the, um, the, uh, the resistance level and um, we will uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, so those levels were basically all correct. Um, that's really about it. So have a great evening and happy trading.